Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to set up an SSL certificate for Plex using Nginx Proxy Manager. So this is going to expose Plex to the outside internet, meaning that you'll be able to access it from anywhere in the world. It's going to automatically manage the uh, SSL certificate for you, so it will automatically renew itself. And it will all be done using a reverse proxy. So all you have to open for all of your services are ports 80 and 443 to your uh, reverse proxy server. And at that point, you can expose as many services as you'd like. So this is definitely not the traditional way of doing this. But the reason I like to set it up this way is because using a reverse proxy server allows you to connect to as many different services as you'd like by only exposing ports 80 and 443. So you port forward those uh, ports to your reverse proxy server, and at that time, you can connect back to as many different web servers as you'd like. So this is not a reverse proxy server tutorial. I just wanted to mention why we're doing it that way. If you are interested in setting up Nginx Proxy Manager, I have a tutorial that I will leave a pop-up for now that will show you how to set it up on a Raspberry Pi. I also have written instructions for everything that we're doing today in the description. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to ensure that you have Plex set up. So it doesn't matter where you have Plex set up. People run it in Docker, people run it on Synology NASes, it doesn't matter. But what you're going to do is you're going to open up Nginx Proxy Manager and you're going to select Proxy Hosts. At that time, you can select Add Proxy Host and then it's going to come up and we have to fill out this new Proxy Host information. So you need to ensure that you have a domain, whether that's a purchase domain or if you wanted to use something like DuckDNS, you can create a, uh, a subdomain on DuckDNS that will point directly to your Plex, for example, but you need to have some sort of a domain. So enter in that domain into the domain name section, and then in the forward host name slash IP, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the IP address of your Plex server. You can leave the scheme as HTTP, and then the forward port, by default for Plex, it's 32400. So you can add that to the forward port, and then you can save this. At that time, you just created the proxy host. But the next thing that we need to do is we need to assign an SSL certificate to that. So go in and edit the record, and then go over to the SSL section, and then you're going to request a new SSL certificate. At that point, you can check off Force SSL and HTTP2 support. Enter in your email address, agree to the terms of service, and click save. At this point, it's going to go out and it's going to fetch a SSL certificate for us. So as soon as it goes and fetches that SSL certificate, you can click the domain name and you should be brought to the secured version of that domain name. So after that's done, the one thing that I want to note is that we are managing external remote access using the reverse proxy. So if you were to go into Plex and you go into remote access, this is their section where they help you configure accessing Plex outside of your network. This is going to show that it's not available outside of your network, and it's because we're using the reverse proxy to handle our external traffic and not the internal Plex settings. So what you can do is you can go into your Plex devices and you can have them connect to that domain name and you will automatically be connecting to Plex outside of your network using a secured connection from anywhere in the world. So like I said earlier, this is definitely not the traditional way of doing it. I just like doing it this way because using the exact steps we just performed with a different service would allow you to expose that service externally in a secured manner without having to open any other ports other than AD and 443, like I said. So that wraps up the tutorial for today. Hopefully that made some sense. If you guys have any questions about it though, please leave them in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks guys.